Mm, decisions, decisions. Ooh, <laughs> don't want to do. Yeah. Just kidding. Too moist. Fudge. Fudgy stuff. Yeah, let's do that. But it's still super moist. Almost forgot to be recording. What the hell's wrong with me, Jeff? This is the exciting stuff, right? All right. So, no, we didn't break a belt. I took took purposely took this off. Uh, the reason is I wanted to check, make sure we have free rotation of the blower without that and this because when this thing tried to fire up. This motor was just sitting here going nin, 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 nin. pushed in the contactor for the the fan because nothing's calling right now, and then pushed in the the uh, contactor for the compressors. You get hear the compressors make this gurgling noise. It, it was like a really weird noise. I'm not gonna do it again because I don't want to damage it. Because as soon as I did that and that and I saw the motor going nin, 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 I knew we have a blown fuse. So. My meter is not doing continuity, and I left my other one at home. Sorry, Zach. But, um, I'm getting no continuity on here, but I think it might be the meter. That fuse has definitely been heated, looks like. So, actually, I'm just going to get my channel locks and grab that sucker out of there, probably. I don't know. I'm waiting on uh, my guy to come back with a, with a meter or another pair of these cords because I'm getting momentarily action on uh, on this meter here. Let's see if I set you up like that. Nothing. Yeah, so. These meter cord, these cords are not doing something. Don't know. Maybe it's time for the old G2 Phoenix to go take a shit. Ah, it's this thing. It's just loose. Ah, shoot. Hold on. Let me spread those little wings out and fly away. I'll be back. So. All right. Uh. Let's see what we got. I think I think we got blown fuses, but I'm not sure. Might be that this one or that that one that's heated up. Let's see. Y'all hear the noises making? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I think we got phase loss somewhere. Phase loss. And that. That fans ain't spinning, the compressors come on, but they sound weird like me. So, uh, I'm gonna check the fuses. If it's not the fuses, I'm gonna check the breakers downstairs, make sure that somebody didn't take the bridge off the breaker and one of the breakers flipped. And uh, we'll go from there, I guess. We'll be back. Okay, so since I just came up here with my meter, and I'm not going all the way there. You call me lazy or whatever to get my channel locks. Let's use a piece of rope. Huh. Well. <laughs> all right, hold on. So, how to change a fuse with a rope. I don't have another fuse, so I gotta take this so we can get the part number. That's how you change a fuse with a rope. So, we got the fuse out using the rope trick. And uh, I'm just going to go downstairs and uh, 
give it to old boss man so he can get the numbers off of it which thank god i took a picture of it because it doesn't matter can't see nothing on the fuse anyway so all right we'll be back and if we are if we are back you'll see me changing the fuse how exciting all right guys so where i got that rope from there's a piece of rope it's like kind of some of it's been deteriorated or something but just that's an antenna for i think our radios which is supposed to be mounted here but they used to have guardrails that went around and they took it off they never put it back so something i can do maybe one day get some uh screws for rubber washers so it doesn't leak mount it back up just so it's standing up a little bit um doesn't really cause any problem with radio transmission but eh. all right so we got the fuse so we are back with the Z said fuels and this time i don't know if i can uninstall a fuse i mean install a fuse with a piece of rope that would be a pretty neat trick but i brought my channel locks so this time no none of that so uh i don't know how i can do this one-handed didn't really bring the gopro uh let's see hold on y'all just gonna have to hold on just a second all right light grip on the fuse with the channel locks and just stick it in there push it in that's it all there is to it hopefully this damn thing's gonna run now ready let's find out oh what do you know come on baby we're on the road again all right let me close this up real quick and uh because high head pressure and all that bullshit get my monster energy drink out of there for a second and i'll be back okay so everything's working i'm just gonna close it up now but one one like a little tech tip um we always keep this is the actual part number for this unit and this is the 50t series um by a um, carrier uh rooftop unit it's a 7.5 ton unit um and all these other units pretty much basically have interchangeable parts almost i mean in belt sizes and all that it doesn't really matter like the length of the belt as long as the type of belt but the actual belt number if y'all are wondering is that right there the p463 a46 um so for this particular unit i've had to pull a data sheet to get y'all guys that information but i uh, get myself that information actually but so everything was working i uh, just didn't want it to go in high head pressure because i got to put on the electrical section i was about to slide this up but um there you go uh when you have phase loss i could have probably diagnosed this without taking all these panels off but i did want to come up here and check it anyway and when i pushed in the contactor i knew it and then i pushed in the compressor contactor it didn't hum it made a gurgling sound so it's just sitting there going blah 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 like so check your fuses brah um just some helpful hints for new techs and stuff you know i don't do that much ac well shouldn't say that but um i don't go really deep into ac work as y'all know uh no soldering evacuations no changing out reversing valves or anything but i do try to check for the simple stuff first um so we don't have to call a contractor out here for a dollar you know a dollar what was this a dollar and 50 cent for this fuse or something like that you know and we bought them we bought a whole case of them a whole case of 12 of them so now we have them um just uh all that the rope trick kind of kind of like a joke guys uh but it helped it i really did not want to go downstairs just to get my pair of pliers <laughs> but sometimes you got to do what you got to do and look around and be creative but um so yeah i and before i changed the fuse by the way i did not even record this i uh, i did take off the um 
the case heaters. I don't think I've recorded this. See, here's the case heater ohms on both of them. 1.4 K ohms. And uh, both of them read just fine on both both case heaters. Now, it's circuit one, circuit two, or vice versa, but case heater here, case heater here, case, case, down there. So I, I read uh, the exact same homage and stuff. I thought that might have been blowing out that face. Um, and then uh, checked all the rollouts. We, we really weren't losing 24 volts on this unit. Also, I opened up the heat strip box. Um, check. Did y'all hear that? Holy crap. That's a 60 ton over there. It's got a bad belt slipping. That's gonna. Wow, dude. What is that rattling? See, there's always a dang problem around here. Just gotta listen for it. But anyway, I checked the um, the uh, the heat strips just in case that was knocking out a phase because uh, it did get cold last night enough for where somebody would want to um, turn on the heat. So I was thinking about that. Uh, also checked to make sure that. Yeah, and that's when I found out that this motor wasn't running and maybe the heat strips were running and You know Because if somebody adjusts this up, what what is it three degrees? Uh, up above or two degrees above. I think it's three degrees above on the Honeywell Pro 5000 series it's thermostat um, The heat strips will come on and then once it gets down to two degrees then the heat pump will take over also so you got heat pump running and heat strips after three degrees when you set it up on a thermostat. So, um, I guess I'm done here. I just got to patch this baby up and uh, put the panels back on and uh, I think we're dead in there, bruh. So, I'll put the uh, panels back on and we'll be done. Ooh. She's a dirty girl. Drill only in this area. <laughs> Guys, I'm Jeff the Maintenance Man. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Y'all have a great one.